Hi, Zeus here. I had an awesome start to the new season of Warships, reaching level 17 gold tier on the second day, which was good enough to get to 219 on the global leaderboard and 44 on the US leaderboard. I want to show you how I did that, and I also want to show you some advanced combat that will give you a clue as to the future of where to go on the tech tree. So while I was trying to win my boss battle for level 17, I ran up against Global 36 Cobra Bomber. And I want to show you his attack on my base. He used five tank landing craft and three bombardier landing craft. And he crushed my base, but only beat me by about 14 seconds. So this is, I think, a path that's very viable next for me. And in fact, with the next chest that I get in four hours, I'm going to be able to open bombardiers and pursue this strategy. Now, we got Cobra Bomber to level 19, so I'm hoping that I can get that far, or at least level 18 with his strategy. And if I can do that, then I can also start to accumulate the keys to open building health. I also ran up against Global 21. And interestingly, he beat my base two seconds slower than Cobra Bomber. So it's very interesting that the tank bombardier combination is actually faster than the rifleman bombardier combination. And I've seen also during my push up to level 17 that the tank combination that I'm using is usually faster than the rifleman bombardier combination. So I would say that the skill level of this Arab player who's level 21 was really the difference. And you know, if you just look at his attack, it's just flawless and at another level beyond anything that I'm currently capable of doing. So he totally deserves to be Global 21 since he can put in these boats of riflemen so precisely timed to protect his bombardiers. All right, now I'm gonna to shift to live combat and I'm gonna show you my boss battle for level 17. And it starts out one eternity later with nearly endless attempts to actually find an opponent. You know, once you're well into the global leaderboard, finding an opponent is really tough. Oh my gosh, this base is incredibly different from most of the bases that I've been facing up to this point. I've been facing mostly concentrated bases. I've had a couple of these spread out bases and I beat one guy that had one by landing tanks on a delayed basis. I, I saved two tanks up that went after the upper left corner there. And I saved two tanks up that went after the engine on the right corner there. But th this base is very different from that other one that I faced. And I think what I'm gonna have to do here is eat this snake from both ends. So I'm gonna land two tanks on the left mortar and two tanks on the right mortar and then four tanks on the far right landing area and i'm going to hope that my tanks meet in the middle and then do a nice split and some go down to get that last engine and some go up to get the two engines that are at the very top of this this base now the technique that i'm using is i've got critters i've got shocks i use the shocks when there's groups of cannons or boom cannons that are attacking my tanks or there's a boom cannon that is behind an engine is going to take out too many of my tanks while i'm reducing it so i also throw down critter boxes on top of mines, shock mines, purposefully in, in a spot where it's in range of the boom cannon, but not in range of, say, a flamethrower or a machine gun. 
and the firing rate of the boom cannons is so slow that by the time it picks off all of the critters in that critter box, my tanks have hopefully destroyed it. So I'm down to like five tanks from the original group, now four, but I've got all my reinforcements from the group that destroyed the engine down below. And I'm out of shocks, I'm out of, okay, the last boom cannon goes down. And we're down to two minutes and five seconds. So not a great time, but great time on that incredibly difficult to beat base with tanks, <laughs> which are pretty slow. Now, if you had bombardiers, it'd be pretty, f oh my God, I can't believe it. I've won, I beat the guy. How awesome is that? And I get to level 17. Now, if I had bombardiers beating a spread out base like that would be really simple and pretty fast, right? Because the bombardiers reach long distances and they don't have to move around to destroy all the defensive. The concentrated bases are designed to destroy the bombardiers after destroying the meat shield that's protecting the bombardiers. All right, so I wanna show you my standard combat technique using all tanks against these typical concentrated bases. So I land the tanks four left, four right, and I use critters to distract boom cannons and cannons by throwing them onto shock mines when there isn't a flamethrower or a machine gun within range to easily destroy them. And I use shocks on groups of cannons and boom cannons and just work my way down the base as fast as I can. On this attack, I beat my opponent by one second and he was using rifleman bombardiers so i must say i find it kind of incredible that tanks are faster but that's the reality of this season so anyway with that victory i'm now global 219 and number 44 in the united states now i want to show you my base that i'm using in more detail And this is the three engine base that I used so successfully to get to the global leaderboard in the first few hours of this season. Okay, now I'm gonna show you my tech tree. I've got the gunboat on level four. I never upgraded riflemen or zookas. I've got the sniper tower on level four. I never opened heavies, never opened green mines, never opened flare. I went off the path to get the building health. I've not opened Grenadiers, not opened Boom Mines or the Hero Brick. Some people are using these Flotsam Cannons. Didn't do that, didn't do that choice node, did not upgrade the health pack. I have building damage on level four. I've got the critters on level four. Have not opened that troop damage node because I wanted to rush to Boom Cannons right away. And so I got to Boom Cannons quickly uh, and then I went back to get critters because the critters are critical to helping the tank survive the boom cannons. And then I went back to get troop health. And after I did that, I opened up the fourth engine along with the troop damage. And that was critical to being able to beat these concentrated four engine bases. Without the extra firepower, I was unable to clear one of those four engine bases with my tank strategy or tanks with riflemen, anything that I had, I couldn't, I couldn't clear it. All right, back on the main base, I'm global number 22 currently, and I'm number one in the United States still uh, for I think now three months running. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and give this video a like It'll help us build our channel, and thanks as always to Hercules for help with the video editing.